Hey hey! The last digit of your like on this video by each who you are from Melon Playground, and the last digit of your subscription to my channel will show your Melon Playground item. So go down right now, subscribe and give me a like. Look at the screen. Notice the last digit of your like and your subscription and write in the comments who you are from Melon Playground. It's simple, if your like is number 8 and the last digit of your subscription is number 5, you're a lemon and a cactus. Show your imagination and enjoy the show. Hello dear friends, you are on Melon Funk channel, in this video we will talk about the new update 20.24 in Melon Playground, but at the beginning of the video I want to say a huge thank you as always to these guys for being in my video, if you want to be in my next video, it's quite simple. You need to subscribe to the channel, put a like and write your top comment, but also don't forget to subscribe to the cart, the link is in the description. Anyway, I won't be with it for your time and enjoy watching it. And first of all I would like to say a huge thank you to the developers for adding such a cool symbolism in the form of update 20.24. That is, in fact, they just made an update in which they said that here is the new year, congratulations to all and rolled out for this update. Which to be honest even I'm very pleased about. It's actually very symbolic and very cool looking. Especially cool looks this new tick, which is on the bottom right. So now we can see that this is version 20.24 New Year's Eve, which is very cool to me. Once again I'm convinced that the developers are definitely watching our audience, watching my videos, because often after my videos they release something interesting and really change what I'm talking about. Maybe it's a coincidence, but I personally want to believe that the developers do follow YouTubers and listen to the commentators and opinions of the majority. The last update 20.0 was called or the title, I mean let's say we had a Halloween update. Last time we had the Christmas update, now we have the 20.24 New Year update, i.e. the New Year update. To be honest, I really like this kind of symbolism and I'm all for it, if for every holiday such a big enough holiday that is celebrated all over the world, there will be updates tied to it. For example, we will soon have Christmas according to Christianity, so why not make updates on this holiday? Let's say Easter, lots of let's say Easter eggs or bunnies. Anyway, lots of interesting events you can come up with with that. Well let's go further on the addition, what awaits us in this update, it has already been released on all devices absolutely, on Android and on iPhone. And let's go through the changes, we had a lot of interesting additions, for example, you can now in the mod editor tab, you can now change the color of any object, you can add absolutely any texture and change the color of this texture, you, the texture of existing ones, which are in the chalk playground in the mod editor, cool, to be honest, why not add this feature, but in general it's very interesting, very cool, and really useful, you can really add any object and color it, and then you can also color this object in the game itself, there will be no problems with this too. Let's say we now have a tick that now you can color items in the mod editor itself, in addition you can initially assign it in the mod editor itself the color of the item and save it, with this also will not be a problem, which is very cool to me. Let's move on to the additions, now we have a new option, a new chip, now you can delete all items of clothing. Before we had this tank or chip I don't know, now before you could divide clothes into several parts and you had to click on each part of the clothes to delete it, which was very inconvenient in some cases, when now you can, you can delete them all at once. And for this we have a button that assigns this function to delete, Let's say you just click delete all and now you can delete all the clothes and it will not interfere with you. It's cool, it's really useful and it's really just the developers listen to the bug issue, because a lot of bugs even on my channel were coming out about it. They listened, they saw the problem, they fixed it. That's what I expected from the developers, if you have a problem, fix it right away. You've got to delay it. If you have a lot of bugs that are really really weird, if you have a solution for it, then you push updates right away, no need to wait. That's cool in general. Let's go further on the additions, now we have a new interesting effect for the Christmas tree. By the way this feature I noticed the very first that the developers added a new effect for the Christmas tree, now you can set it on fire, in principle it was before and it turned into some black wasteland. Now when you set the tree on fire, this effect looks even cooler, honestly it fascinates me. For this effect I give the developers a Lyakosic, because it is really very beautiful, just look how it looks very pleasant to the eye looks, I'm honestly very pleased that the developers have done just that when updating the meme playground. I would have liked more items or chips I guess, but I think this is quite enough too. 
Also when the tree completely burns out, we can notice that some Christmas trees, let's say, remained, some prickles themselves, I do not know how to call them by another name, in general there is some kind of effect, as if burned, but burned not to the end, which is in real life, that is some ash, somewhere burns, somewhere not, in general it is really very beautiful looks, I let's say really really very cool. Write in the comments your opinion, be sure, I always read everything and all the comments that I like, I and here are our favorite updates with fixes. I've really been waiting for this for a long time, because when the global update came out usually, it was like this for the last 2-3 to three updates. When the global update was released, in general, there were a lot of bugs, but for some reason the developers did not seek to fix them immediately. Now the developers saw the problems, they immediately fixed them and in principle now everything works perfectly now, which is very happy and I really just thank the developers for their work. Of the fix, fix it right away, no need to wait, it's stupid. What has been fixed? The color palette was fixed, now the color palette is more saturated, and really colors can be picked up more, less bugs became and it really works more stable. Look what color now we get when painting this or that object, in general the color palette has really changed and I like it very much. Fix some bugs with some objects, once they were colored, it was logical that some bugs will still be there and the developers it will be and these bugs will remain most likely and they will be fixed in the future too. It's a logical story, because it's possible that the color change will not be completely stable, because it's a complicated process, but I'm glad that the developers are working very hard on it and in principle it's a useful enough feature to use it all the time and to fix something somewhere and just find something to fix. There were typical fixes like in more stable works, it's quite a common story for our developers and I don't scold them for it, only that they constantly fix something. They also fixed hitboxes for some items and for the floor. Now the items that used to hang in the air or fall under the floor, it's all fixed, now these items stand flat on the ground and they do not fall through. In general, this is also welcomed and the developers would like to say a huge thank you for this too. In general, we have some kind of update today. I'm very glad that the developers have realized their mistakes and started to fix something and thank them very much for that. This is the end of my video, good luck in the new year, we will see each other again, there will be one more very interesting video this year, the last video of this year and we will see each other next year. Well this is the end of my video, thank you all for watching, good luck everyone, goodbye everyone and remember mate, as always, see you the other day.